listening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. Today, I'm reviewing, guess what, the market, the QQQs. Today, around 2 o'clock Eastern time, something's going to happen, or nothing could happen, but I think something's going to happen. Uh, it's an FOMC minutes announcement today. So, today is Wednesday, July 27th. I'm actually having a big move today, considering, let's look at this. Having a big move before the minutes, which is weird. I think we're just I think we're gonna come down and bounce and recover. So we could have a move down quick, bounce, recover. That's my prediction. So the stock swoosh prediction is we have a move around the announcement period that acts like a bounce. So we could have a hard move down because we're kind of making our way down there now, and then bounces and sits its butt right here, basically on the move down, and then pushes over it. So I think we lift, we go down and lift over the area again. So whether we close red today or green today, I don't know. I don't know, but I think we close today with the tail. And every day in here has been bullish. Even the red days are bullish because they're not really having big sell-offs. We're not really having big monster sell-offs. Today, we did gap up. We had a significant gap up today. Actually, in the pre-market, we were gapping up, I think, even more. We had gapped up more than a dollar, dollar forty overnight. Apple had good earnings, and so that gapped up and pulled the market up, and Apple's falling today, so that's probably one of the reasons it was red. We just couldn't hold the gap placement where we, where we actually started the day, uh, today in the gap. But we'll be interesting to see how we close today. It'll be very interesting to see how we close. And where we hold, or if we, we could just blow over the high, I don't think that's likely in the announcement, but that could happen too as well. I think we have a reaction. Anyways, we haven't pulled in, as I predicted as well. But the interesting thing is these little days, the little reds, are acting like baby pull-ins. So instead of actually having a big pull-in or another nice pull-in, or instead of doing that, we are actually just having teeny weeny little sell-off on some of the days. So these are, this is as much of a pull-in as you're going to get. It's almost like you have to go long the days that were red. It's like if you had gone long in here, you would have made money. Funny to say, but if you're waiting for a pullback, you never got in. Obviously, you should have been in all the way in here. Here and here, you could have gone long. You could have gone long here, here. Again, one red day in here, you had to get long immediately. No pullback. Red day, get long. I mean, you could have been long all along, but you could you could you could almost just go long in here because I think we I think we bounce. I think we lift over. I think the reaction is going to be positive, although it could have a jolt of a negative and then react positively. Either way, it'll be interesting to see how we close today and where we go tomorrow. This is Melissa with the stock swoosh. The Golden Gun class is this weekend, July 30th and 31st. We made a great prediction here in the market. The QPQs have not made a brand new all-time high yet this year, but we will. We're not that far away. Five dollars and less than six bucks. Less than six bucks where we opened the gap this morning away from making a brand new all-time high in the QQQs. And the only reason I think that we acted the way that we did today is number one, we're waiting for the announcement at two, and number two, Apple fell today. Um, and that is pulling down the market. And this was a big gap up. Have a great day, everyone. And email me at Melissa at the if you would like more information on my gap method system.